we start by talking about Bernoulli random variable. So the random variable x takes on two values 0 and 1 with associated probability mass function as probability x is equal to 0 this is 1 minus p probability x is equal to 1 is p so you can check if it is a probability mass function because when you add 1 minus p with p you get 1 so p lies in the interval 0 to 1 so p is called the probability of success so 1 you can call success and 0 you can call as failure now you can rewrite this random variable so instead of 0 you could write as tail instead of 1 you could write as head so 0 you can associate with tail 1 you can associate with head and p as the probability of landing a head so you could rewrite 0 1 as tail head now we talk about binomial random variable so you perform n Bernoulli trials so you first perform one Bernoulli trial which is random variable x1 so here the outcome could be 0 or 1 then you perform another trial x2 again the outcome could be 0 or 1 then random variable x3 outcome could be 0 or 1 and then so on in xn again the outcome could be 0 or 1 that is variable xn could take value 0 or 1 and then you count the number of successes that is number of times 1 shows up so that is very simple you add all these values that will give you number of times the 1 shows up so for example 1 shows up in x1 and then x2 shows up 0 then x3 shows up 1 so everything else shows up 0 so you add these two ones you get 2 so two ones were there so this random variable x can take n plus 1 values so it could take value 0 so if there is like x1 is 0 x2 is 0 x3 is 0 x4 is 0 all of them are 0 it could take value 0 it could take value 1 so say x2 is 1 but x1 is 0 x3 is 0 x4 is 0 all the way to xn is 0 so you get 1 then it could take value 2 say x2 is 1 and xn is 1 everything else is 0 then 1 plus 1 will be 2 so it could take 1 2 3 4 all the way to n n values and then 0 and therefore you have n plus 1 values the mass function is so the mass function is given as probability x is equal to k so k is any of these values 0 1 2 3 4 all the way to n this is n choose k p raised to the power of k times 1 minus p raised to the power of n minus k where this n choose k is nothing but this combinatorial symbol n factorial over n minus k factorial times k factorial so notice that there are two parameters n and p so you have this n this k is fixed from 0 to n so this n is the number of trials you carry out and p is this probability so there are two parameters so you often write this random variable x is a function of b n comma p so n is number of trials and p is the probability of success so if you sum all these variables so k is equal to 0 to n so this is a probability mass function so sum of all the probabilities should be 1 so this is equal to sum of k is equal to 0 to n of this n choose k p to the power of k 1 minus p to the power of n minus k and this is nothing but the binomial expansion so p plus 1 minus p to the power of n so this is binomial expansion of this expression you add this up this p and p cancel out you get 1 so let us do two examples which uh, illustrate the principle so example one is in a toss of four coins the probability of exactly three heads can be computed using the binomial random variable, variable x so there are toss of four coins so n is four so this is n is four p we will take to be half so x is distributed like this so x is the number of heads so we have to find exactly exactly three heads so k is three so you put k is three so here we will put k is 3 and number of trials is 4 so that's why I put 4 3 p to the power of k p to the power of 3 1 minus p to the power of 1 so 4 minus 3 is 1 so instead of p you put half you get 1 by 4 so probability of exactly 3 heads in a toss of 4 coins is 1 by 4 another example so this example is kind of counterintuitive so pay attention so suppose there is a helicopter and helicopter has 
a couple of engines so this helicopter engine will fail with probability 1 minus p so that is the helicopter engine will work with probability p so a flight is successful if half the engines work so you have a helicopter half of its engines must work otherwise the plane would crash so say there is a helicopter which has four engines so this is a big helicopter so helicopter has four engines so the probability that this flight would be successful with four engines would be two engines work so four choose two p square one minus p square or three engines work or all four work so this is the total probability that more than two engines will work that is two engines will work or three will work or four will work so this is the probability if you add it up of a successful flight so now suppose you have a two engine helicopter so this is a smaller helicopter four engine helicopter is a bigger helicopter and since it is a bigger helicopter it requires four engines to work out of which at least two must work for a successful flight or you could have a lighter helicopter which just has two engines but this helicopter should have at least one engine working for the flight to be successful so half of the engines should work so at least one engine in this helicopter should work so either one engine works two cho choose one or both the in engines work two choose two so one works or both work so we expand this expression this is what it comes out to be so 4 choose 2 is 6 so this is 6 6 p square 1 minus p square plus this 4 choose 3 is 4 so 4 p cube times 1 minus p 4 choose 4 is 1 so this comes p to the power of 4 1 minus p to the power of 0 this is just 1 now we focus on this side 2 choose 1 is just 2 p times 1 minus p and 2 choose 2 is just 1 so you have p square so f you travel in four engine aircraft or four engine helicopter compared to two engine helicopter only if this probability is greater than this probability so once you're here now you p is common you can cancel p out so you get p square right here p cube here this p is cancelled out and then you have p here now if you further simplify it if you further simplify it this will come out to be p minus 1 square times 3 p minus 2 greater or equal to 0 now probability cannot be greater or equal to 1 so we will choose this so p is has to be greater or equal to 2 by 3 so if the probability of engine success is greater than 2 by 3 then you use a four engine helicopter if the probability of engine success is less than 2 by 3 then you use a two engine helicopter so that means if the engines are failing with a high frequency it makes more sense to travel in a two engine helicopter compared to a four engine helicopter that is if engine is of poor quality if engine is of superior quality that is its probability of success is higher at least it is at least two third then you travel in a four engine helicopter and uh, notice that four engine helicopter is heavier so it needs two engines to work at least and here in two engine helicopter you just need one engine to work so this is kind of a counterintuitive problem but the solution is clear when you use binomial random variables